Today's Amanita series, we're going to be discussing a member of Section Phalloidia, one of our Northeast Destroying Angels. We have a few uh, members, depending on what time of year, um, Destroying Angels, um, Deadly Toxic Mushrooms, I'll, I'll start off with. So, we discovered these, it's about mid-August. And we have these beautiful white ladies right here. Well, let's see if we can see what's going on with them. A little focus. Oh, we can see the skirt underneath. We can see this bright white cap. And if we focus in on the margin, these don't have a striate margin, as with other members of Amanita. Uh, characteristic to section phalloidiae, uh, typically. So, these are pretty distinguishable mushrooms and ones that are really good to learn about. So, with all Amanita, we do want to dig out the base, but I just want to show you the size of these girls. They're very big and robust. So, this rules out a lot of our eastern members. Uh, Bisporogera is one that's smaller in Grass Isle. Um, and being August, we're at that crossroads where our summer angels are slowly fading out and our fall autumn angels are starting to make an appearance, as we do here. Now, with all angels we do, and all Amanitas, we want to dig out. One thing I like to note here is while we're digging, I want to know how far down I'm digging for these. So we can see, they're pretty deep. I'm already about an inch in, going even deeper to possibly two inches. I got a root here, I can see that maybe they're connected to and moving around. So let's see if we can get to the bottom of this, literally. And grab my knife, I'll zoom out a little bit. So this girl we can see here, I mean, we have the base and we have about an inch, inch and a half to where it was buried under the ground and even over the, 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 the leaf litter that was here goes even higher. We'll see if this girl is about the same. And she seemed like she was rooting even deeper. So, we have our angel number one. We have our angel number two. So we can see how beautiful she is, hence the name Angels. And if we go close, we can see this skirt. Placement of the skirt is relatively important on these. We can see uh, this is a rather thick skirt, not very felted. Now I would rule out Magdalavaris here. We can see it's connected way up at the top. So we have a few options. One option I like to consider when we're digging deep in the east, we have Amerivarosa. Another member which I've found in this park numerous times is Amanita subaliacea. The term aliacea uh, refers to its garlic aroma. Let me give a quick scent to this. And I'm not smelling too much on her. But with all angels, we want to note this design on the stem. Let's see if we can get it without the lights. We see these fibrils going up and down here, which are very characteristic to Section Phalloidiae, particularly our angel group. I even collected this smaller button across the trail, and further up the trail I did find this older one. So as for a scent profile, this older one may reveal more clues to what it is, but as we can see here, the skirt on this one is rather decayed a bit and fell on the stem and lightly changing color versus these very big, robust skirts that these girls have. You can see her right here. She's still uh, dropping her skirt. So these are all good things that we want to notice. Not only that, we want to notice the margin of the skirt here for any clues that we can have. 
So this one I will actually take home, do a little uh, microscope study on it. We'll give a cross section to her. Oh, she's a beauty. But as for this one here, we do have a couple members that have this melting skirt. Now this being still white and turning red a little bit, I can move the, oh, it's a little gooey. So we have two options here I'd like to consider. One we have mid-season is Amanita Sturgioni, which can be this large uh, destroying angel that we have. And then we also have Subaliacea, which I've seen this melting scarp. Um, I'm really going to have to compare these two and decide with scarp placement. And in this one, if I take the stem and snap her off and maybe open the base up a little bit, We'll try to release that aroma. The base has a lot of aroma to it. Uh, better than most other parts of the mushroom, I find. But alas, it just smells like dirt because I peeled it out of the dirt. So our next option would be maybe to peel off a piece of the cap. Get this flesh off. Crush it in my fingers under my nose. Here. You smell that? So I'm not getting any garlic aroma scent. It's actually very sweet smelling. So it's not a chlorinated or a protein uh, decaying meat smell to it. Perhaps this girl right here will be a little better. She's coming home with me. Yep, I decided. I'm taking her home. So as a destroying angel option, I will update my uh, title on this to see what I find. But with this in particular being such a cryptic group, uh, I do want to measure the spore size on it and take as many clues as I can now uh, to decide exactly which angel this is. But definitely a destroying angel, definitely lethally toxic. And um, so that's it. This is uh, today's Amanita series, the destroying angel suspect. Amara Verosa, Subaliacea, or even possibly Sturgioni. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.